bear doesn't want to work on his farm. He'd rather sleep all day. Good thing Fox knows exactly what Bear needs. A donkey. And Fox just happens to have a donkey egg that's almost ready to hatch. But wait, donkeys don't come from eggs. Is Bear in for a fruity surprise? The beloved characters Bear and Hare from Tops and Bottoms return in this jolly, funny tale of time and trickery. The Donkey Egg by Janet and Susan Stevens Crummel Starring Bear Old, lazy, cranky, worked hard once, but not anymore. Needs motivation. Hare Friendly, speedy, always running. Once a rematch with Tortoise. Blanket. Warm, dramatic, hides things, multi-talented, has a checkered past. Fox. Clever, loves to play tricks, looking for mischief and some quick cash. And a cameo appearance by Donkey. Where did he come from? Egg. Green, mysterious. What's inside? Up on the hill lived a grumpy old bear. His farm was a wreck and in need of repair. But Bear didn't care. He just slept in his chair and growled at his neighbors, Fox and Hare. Wake up, Bear, cried Fox. I know you want to turn this place back into a mighty fine farm, grow some mighty fine crops, and have a mighty fine life. But you need help, and I've got just the thing. Growl, growled Bear. What thing? Ta-da! A donkey! That's not a donkey, cried Bear. Not yet, but it will be, said Fox. It's a donkey egg. A genuine certified donkey egg. Still green. Has to ripen and hatch. That's where you come in. Keep it warm, safe, and happy, like a little mama bird on her nest. It will take time, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. So be patient. Then voila, a donkey. As you know, Bear, lots of animals come from eggs. Dinosaurs, chickens, platypus alligators and donkeys it's the truth i can see it now your fields are plowed your house is painted and you and your donkey sitting on the porch watching the sunset what a deal and it's a steal today only 1995. no way said bear Fox sighed. Okay, I'll settle for that $20 bill. Sold! It's a done deal. Fox scooped up the cash, disappeared in a flash, and all that was left was Bear in his chair and a giant green donkey egg. That fast-talking fox muttered Bear. Now what am I supposed to do? Then he remembered, keep it warm. So like a big mama bird, Bear carefully sat, this way and that, and he sat and he sat. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, minutes passed, no donkey. Did you know one minute equals 60 seconds? It takes about a second to sneeze. Ha -ha a hummingbird's wings beat about 70 times in one second. So fast you can hardly see them moving. It takes about a minute for an ice cream cone to melt on a hot day. 
It takes about two minutes to brush your teeth. Neighbor Hare had just begun his daily run when he screeched to a halt. Bear, you're out of your chair. I'm sitting on a donkey egg, growled Bear. What? Donkeys don't come from eggs. Yes, they do, cried Bear, like dinosaurs, chickens, alligators, platypus, and even tortoises. I'm keeping it warm so it will hatch. Been sitting for a whole hour. No donkey. Well, you keep sitting and I'll keep running, said Hare. Got another race with tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to sit and sit and sit. Mustn't quit. Tickety tock, clickety clock, hours passed. No donkey. Did you know one hour equals 60 minutes equals 3,600 seconds? It takes a spider about an hour to spin a fancy web. You blink your eye over 1,000 times in an hour. Your heart beats over 5,000 times in an hour. What do I do now? Then Bear remembered, keep it safe. Bear cradled the egg and sang, Rock-a-bye donkey, my little one. Ripen and hatch, there's work to be done. If there is danger, I will be there. You'll be my donkey and I'll be your bear. Again, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear, you're rocking and singing in your chair. I'm keeping my donkey egg safe, replied Bear. Been rocking all day, no donkey. Well, you keep rocking and I'll keep running, said Hare. Gotta win that race. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to rock and rock and rock. Rockety rock, tickety tock, clickety clock, days passed, no donkey. Did you know one day equals 24 hours equals 1,440 minutes equals 86,000 400 seconds. One day is about how long it takes the Earth to spin all the way around on its axis. Most chickens lay one egg per day. Bamboo can grow up to almost three feet a day. If you grew three feet a day in just one week, you'd be taller than a house. Kids laugh about 300 times in one day. Grown-ups only laugh about 17 times. Hmm. Now what? Then Bear remembered. Keep it happy. He told Egg a tale of a girl and three bears. Fables with tortoises, foxes, and hares. Bear acted out plays where he played every part again and again till he knew them by heart. Bear pointed his toes as he leapt through the air. He played peekaboo hiding under his chair. For the third time, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear, you're under your chair. I'm playing with my donkey egg, said Bear, keeping it happy so it will hatch been playing all week. Still, no donkey. But there will be, Bear grinned. So you keep running and I'll keep playing. I'm gonna hatch that egg and you're gonna beat that tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to play and play and play night and day. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, weeks passed no donkey. Did you know one week equals seven days equals 168 hours equals 10,080 minutes 
equals 604,800 seconds. A mama hummingbird takes about a week to build her tiny nest, which is the size of a ping pong ball. A mama eagle takes over two weeks to build her giant nest, which is eight feet wide. Dad's help. It takes about a week for a snake to shed its entire skin. Humans gradually lose their skin, about seven million skin cells in a week. Through wind and rain and snow, Bear stayed. He sang, he sat, he rocked, he played. He loved that egg with all his heart. Never was there quite a pair. Bear and egg, egg and bear. Only napping here and there, Bear grew tired. Really tired, really, really tired. He couldn't keep from falling, falling fast asleep. Plop! Roll! Oh no! shouted Bear. Help! Egg on the loose! Hare's ears perked up. Egg on the loose? Hare to the rescue! and the chase was on. It was Egg out in front, Bear close behind, and Hare bringing up the rear. Around the turn, Egg leading, Hare speeding, Bear stampeding. Across the road, Egg tumbling, Hare stumbling, Bear fumbling. Through the field, Bear thrashing, Hare dashing, Egg crashing. Crack! My donkey hatched, cried Bear. I've got him by the ears. Ouch! Those are my ears, hollowed Hare. Can't you see? It's not a donkey egg. It's a watermelon. But it can't be. Fox said it was a genuine, certified donkey egg. Fox, grasped Bear. You believed Fox? Bear hung his head. He tricked me. Fox tricked me. No donkey egg. No baby donkey. No nothing. There wasn't a sound as Bear looked around. And there on the ground, guess what he found? Seeds. Bear had an idea. I've got work to do. Well, you start working and Al... Hare paused. Oh, who cares about a silly old race? For hours, then days, Bear and Hare tilled the land. They weeded and planted and watered by hand. For weeks, then months, the plants grew and grew. May, June, July, they were growing into... Did you know one month equals 31 days? Or 30 days, or 29 days, or 28 days. 12 months equals 365 days equals one year. It takes a whole year for the earth to travel around the sun. Your hair grows about one half inch per month, which means six inches per year. A mama donkey carries a baby donkey in her body for about a year before it's born. Of course, you already know, donkeys don't actually come from eggs. Watermelons everywhere! To market, to market went bear and hare to sell those melons. And what did they buy? Ta-da! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Off ran Bear with donkey and hare to fix up his farm that needed repair. And all that was left was... Hello friends, thanks for listening to another fun story. 
don't forget to check out the other books by our author Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Scrummel. See you next time. Don't forget to click like and share. Bye for now.